So there's something really special um, that uh, I want to share with you. Um, when I was in Calgary in September, um, we were launching Little Warriors there, and I got a call um, once the press conference was done from the Little Warriors staff at the office, and it was one of those calls, you're like, I don't know if, it was, if they were happy or if they were crying, uh, and they're like, Glory, this little girl, she wrote a song, she dropped it off at our office and we can use it, and it's amazing. And um, I asked them to play it over the phone, which you can imagine, the quality wasn't all that good. But I can tell you, it, um, it took my breath away. Um, when I got back to, um, to, to Edmonton, I, I called um, uh, Danielle and uh, Vicki Lowe, um, mother and daughter team, that uh, heard about Little Warriors and felt compelled that they had to do something. So the mother and daughter team went, went, uh, had, went off when they heard about Little Warriors. I had never met them. Um, and uh, they wrote a song, and not just any song. They, uh, they wrote a song about a little boy named Jesse. Um, and uh, it is a beautiful song. Danielle and Vicky and uh, Wes, who's Danielle's uh, voice coach, who not only nurtures her talent, which you're going to see in a couple of minutes, um, but also teaches the students the importance of giving back to the community. Um, this is an example of how individuals can make a difference. Uh, and you know what? These guys decided to stand up. And they're very, very, very special friends to me. Um, and today you're all in for a treat. Um, this isn't a standard press conference. Uh, we have something uh, that is gonna touch your heart. Um, I would like to have everybody join me in welcoming this very special, very talented, very beautiful Danielle Lowe. She's here today to share the song of hope with every one of you today. everyone so before I start I just like to say so this is the song that my mom and my mom and I co-wrote and the inspiration came from little warriors and they teach us that even when bad things happen there's always hope Jesse's a kid just one of
you know what, we don't know how, but we're going to get this thing produced and we're going to share it with Canadians. We're going to, we need to get this gift of hope to everybody across the country. And we're thinking, how are we going to do this? Um, we're a not-for-profit. My boy's never going to approve any money to produce a song. Um, so literally, Wes, um, who I mentioned is uh, Danielle's uh, uh, voice coach and just an amazing, amazing human being. Uh, he got on the phone. He goes, "You know what, Glory? We're going to find somebody to produce this thing." And those that know Wes know that Wes doesn't do anything half-hearted. Uh, Wes not only found us a production company, uh, he found us Phil from Power Sound, who's absolutely amazing. Um, the artists that uh, backed Danielle up on this CD were unbelievable, uh, and they came from all over. Um, so then we had the production piece. Then we're like, well, how are we going to pay for it? We had gotten it at a very reduced cost. So literally, I get on the phone, and I, I wish that he was here today. But if you see him, make sure to, to thank him. Um, is I called a friend of mine, John Cameron, and I said, John, like, this, this girl, she wrote this song. It's so beautiful. I just, I'm, we're so compelled that this be shared with Canadians. And in John's voice, he said, how much is it going to cost, Glory? And... Uh, I told John the number and he goes, Glory, you'll have a check on your desk first thing in the morning, and I did. And then I called these guys and said, we're gonna produce the song. And um, so it really is a very um, uh, special day um, to finally have uh, this shared with all of you. Um, and as I mentioned, we're gonna, we're gonna send it out to all the radio stations across the country. Um, but I wanted you to meet them um, because they have, they have, they're so special. Um, to think that, you know, you're 13 now, but 12 at the time, they hear about Little Warriors, they're like, you know, we gotta do something. We're gonna go write a song. Like, that's the amazing part of the Little Warriors movement. So I wanted you to meet them. I wanted to say thank you. I love you guys. You rock. And uh, I'm so proud of you.